Alright. Oh boy, I can't wait to win this game. Rusty, Rusty. Alright, easy. I don't know why he's complaining. Their team is probably actually better than ours, stats wise. Who are you saying is bad? Are you saying I'm bad? <laughs> no, I don't know what he's saying. Oh. Another one there? Nice. Get the bomb down, one in the Uh, do we have to go A now? Playtest rules, you gotta go A. Got to, yeah. or should? We, we got to. Alright. Hit, uh, 66. Did they stack B? <laughs> oh, right. Minus 70 in... <laughs> Squidski carry? Squidski carry? Yeah, forget Viper. No. <laughs> to be fair, they ran me... They ran into me one by one. Flashing <laughs> mid, right now went. <laughs> oh, fuck me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> me too. I need to get a kill. No, no, it's fine. Uh, Zaya Master Race, am I right? Come on, come on, let's go. Nice. Thanks for the Krieg. No problem. Uh, how did I do that twice? What did you do? I landed a molly on top of that plywood, like instead of the ground. Throwing a flashbang. And then hit it. Zero and four, and you hate to see it. Nah, you love to see it. Yeah, yeah, you do. I'm throwing fire. I'm throwing a flashbang. I don't know what he was doing there. Zero and four. Hmm? XD. What's the password change? Oh, because it's time for the play test. I didn't realize that. Is it France or. It's Canada. Oh, I didn't realize that. That's why I haven't been getting any kills. I'm sure that's it. I'm playing a lot better than usual, that's why. Uh, okay, okay. It's the. Uh... Personal private cheat. Yeah, yeah. I'm throwing a flashbang. Flashbang. <laughs> uh, crayon's pushing there. My face burned. Yeah, Crayon's got kill, that's sad. <laughs> uh <laughs> nice. <laughs> he just how did he not see you? 
By the way, they keep pushing B like every time. So yeah. Yeah. I swear they said the timings were bad for that. Yeah. I don't think the timings are bad. I think we're just stacked. Yeah. Or comments. I mean, either there. way, either way, this map basically hasn't changed since the last play test. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting messages from both sides yeah, and Sir Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine what? changing a map based on feedback. <laughs> nice one. The plywood. Yeah, I don't change my map, I just remake it. Oh, nice one! Fuck. Nice one! Uh huh, how's that feel? <laughs> this looks... Oh, that pushed to spawn again. On site, behind. Yeah, there's two oh. seats. Back there? Crayon's still back there. Oh my god. Well, no, that's Crayon, he's getting killed. Oh no. It's alright, AVP, you're doing better than Sumo, don't worry. And Crayon. True. Try and punish them for pushing this time. I missed the timing, or I would have. I was holding Damn. that angle in T spawn for like 20 seconds, so they pushed right when I looked away. What is this timing? One upper CT entrance. Can they see me from up there? Oh, that's cheap. Yeah, that must that mustn't have been a problem before. Uh, I think they lowered the wall. That's probably because he can Fuck! I think that missed. Too. Oh shit. Okay, gonna. Uh huh. Crap, trying to boost on me. Nice. Uh, on the left side? There's one over. I'm behind. Oh, what? I was watching behind me. Oh my god. Damn. I hit one for seven and one for five. I'm I so confused how they keep pushing. I think if we would have done the booster earlier, we would have had it. Yeah, Can I, I get a drop. I, I'm so stupid because I didn't press my crouch key. <laughs> you were just standing I was like, what's going on? I was like, I was like why aren't you getting on my ass? <laughs> <laughs> Where are they pushing? Because, like, they can push hard. I don't know. What? That, that, was gun? That, free gun? that was insane. Honest, if you can't, unless you camp really far back, there's nowhere really to hold for A for T's. Yeah, if you take the... I don't think that's a Yeah, I, th I thought that was a problem with A, yeah. You literally chucked it in front of a car. <laughs> oh god, oh fuck. <laughs> 1v5. I'm gonna die. <laughs> this lag. Yes. This is nice. Is it working now? I think so. Yeah. That totally ruined my funny thing. This is yeah, so double sad. admit, double admit. I was like, ABP, come boost me. You were just standing there staring at me. I forgot that you couldn't hear me. <laughs> Coming towards A. You want I'm grabbing this gun. Oh, okay. I, I would just like, you were just like, go B, and then you started walking towards A, so I was confused. One might be on the boost B. Okay. Oh no, not the gay boost. Mm, they could be, but they're not showing. I can molly maybe. Hold on. Well, let's wait for Peak to check this. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Oh, he one shot me. 
Oh. Blue on me. Cause we, we don't have a plug-in. Are you actually kidding me? What? Are you kidding me? <laughs> What is that? Were you watching me peek? No, I was watching you knife at someone while they shoot me in the head. <laughs> You're playing ultimate. I don't know why. Look at the That was just a face at first round. Yeah. Don't oh mind. Have it. Such a shit shit spawn. He's sacked. <laughs> Remove any doubts in your head. It's us or them. Incendiary out. fire. Laying down smoke. He's sacked. What is that? Do they know? Long B. Two on B, last two B. <laughs> two mid, minus ninety nine. Get back! Thank you, Viper. Very cool. <laughs> Executing B. Roger. Grenade out. Nice flash. Flash B. Oh my god. Minus yeah. 54. Fire in the hole. Flashbang. Ah, uh, down up. Roger. Minus 40. Let's uh, stack mid. Maybe stack mid. Yes. Oh no, Colin's doing better than me now. Oh. oh. I'm a disappointment. How are you not dead? I don't know. Might have to finish you off. They'll never expect me to camp here. No, never. Going A. Go A5, but you can kill them all, because you're too good. No, they're not! Outside B! Oh, he's going to mid. Yes, he's going to A. Did he just flash himself? <laughs> M minus 98. Come on, guys, you got to focus. That's right. Focus is my middle name. Yeah, alright, alright. That's a terrible smoke. How is that a time? Oh, they had two ops there? What? I'll look 
Alright. Let's go, everyone. Let's go. Russia. There's no one here. You can go for the sake of Freaking what? My face went 70 ping. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> this is without a doubt a Rock 05.mdl moment. Like, I'm usually okay at best. Like, I would need to be able to get Fuck! Stupid head, like, pushing it. Last two zombie. Positive with an A. Shush, my English skills aren't great. You live in England, come on, man. <laughs> That's no excuse. Oh my god. Last <laughs> for the headshot. Why is this man using a P90? <laughs> oh, come on. I'll take that then. Is it A? Yeah, I think so. I hope so. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's A. One coming from. Oh, why'd you push? Nice. Oh, they're dead. Nice. <laughs> that flash almost fucked us over. <laughs> I mean, I don't know about rushing through a smoke, uh, just on it, on your own. <laughs> well, no, I mean, my, my point is that worked, and then I got flashed. So I was like, oh no. I think the strat is 5 mid every round of CT. It seems like it. I don't know, I didn't shoot him. Sad. Lag. Hey Squidski, can you explain the uh, lag? No, I can't. That was a game. I can't oh, restart the server. This is so sad. I can't restart the server in the middle of a playtest because it'll go. fuck everything up and we'd have to redo it. This was so. painful. I'm disgusted. Uh, I top scored. Let's go, let's go. Let's get shoots on. Uh, we got there to get in here. I mean, I'm here. Yeah, but there, 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 there too. Yeah, all right. Throwing smoke. Uh, uh, there is in here. Let's see down in here. Uh, Alright, let's get feedback first. Me. Uh, okay, go oh. ahead. ABP. Hi, I'm ABP in game. So, something that happens often when I play this map is that 
it's really hard for me to like figure out where enemies can be through um any form of process of elimination and i think it's just because it's like mid is like it's like every rotation Mom. in the whole map um pretty much it goes through mid oh, man. and there's like a lot of different places you can be on mid and also i'm confused by the timings constantly like i don't know if i'm supposed to rush mid as ct or if i should rush b as ct but it's i don't know dude like i had a bad game today but i think part of it was lag and part of it was i did find the way this map played confusing today um more so than other times that I've played this. So I don't know if it's the group of people or just like an emerging problem with the map for me. Um, B site timing seemed like kind of messed up. Like I, I would look at the radar, like I would go A, and then someone would go like, what the frick? And then like both of my teammates were dead on B within the first 10 seconds of the round. Something crazy like that, and I was like, oh man. And then on the A site, like, I wasn't exactly sure where to defend from, even though it should be obvious. Like, it kind of felt like wherever I was, I could get flanked if my team ever lost, like, this squeaky mid control, which, like, you had to really push up for a CT. So it's like, I guess I would hold on site and check along, but they can boost. Or if they push all the way through mid, then they have this connector here. So it's like, I don't know. And it probably would help if, like, there had been better comms. Like, it's not really my team's fault. I couldn't hear what they were saying on a microphone. Uh, kind of just sounded like they were talking underwater. So we couldn't use that. But, <laughs> yeah, I just... My experience with this map today was that I was very confused as to where enemies were going to be and where I could anticipate and like outplay them or outflank them, and I was never able to successfully do that because of timings that felt very unclear to me, and it was so hard to like get information on enemy players because there are so many rotates where like you just don't get any information on them or like there's not a place where you could like cut them off as far as i can tell like they can just like there's multiple ways it can go and they don't have to go the way like you're holding or anything definitely t-sided maybe i think in that regard uh also since the ct spawns had this wonky thing or for some reason they were just all in a line so like if i was the a player and i spawned here like I would have to, we would all have to coordinatedly, like, move to the left uh, or right as to I not can... freaking conga line into each other. I can explain it's terrible. But I, I, you don't need to explain anything, just change it. Just I, I, don't do I, that. I, I, I kind of messed up the spawns. That's, okay. that's my fault. Yeah, just... I blame him. Okay. Um... This, when I was playing on CT side, like, from the CT perspective, I think that this means that this is, like, not wall bangable, and this is. And imagine my surprise when there was an AK shooting me through this brick wall, not the wood wall, which are right next to each other. Um, that confused me. Of course, it's wood on the T side, so, like, for them, like, they're going to be able to tell, but, like, on CT side, I just... I didn't even know. And then it's like, the, what's the thickness of this wood wall? Like, if you actually look at it, there's like concrete in the middle, but like it appears it would be like wall bangable. There's a lot of wall bangable surfaces around that I just straight up like, unless like, I guess you memorize like each pillar, it's gonna be hard to know what's wall bangable and what's not, I guess. I guess that is it. Like, why is there wood there? I don't know. It seems inconsistent to me. And I think I like had problems with it. Um, 
B site. Sometimes turning this corner felt like a little weird, like mostly because it is a boost spot. Also, I don't know if I liked this boost spot. I, I kind of felt like um, when you turn this corner, like you should be checking here and then like an enemy could be here. But now that there's like a boost in addition like this, it's like so many angles to check. And I know your its maps already kind of like T-sided, but I felt like what would happen most of the time is that instead of like, if T's were gonna go, the they were just gonna rush it full on out until the timings were whack enough that it was okay. Like if the timings were correct, um, I think this would be harder to uh, take. But I think the timings are just kind of weird right now for um, everyone involved. And the boost is also kind of experimental, so. I guess we can remove it if it doesn't play well with fixed spawns. I'll I just have to see what other people say about the boost. This is another thing I thought I could wallbang, but there's a bunch of sandbags here, so I couldn't wallbang it. I think I gave up my position once, like, I'm gonna make an epic play and kill the guy that I know is hiding here. But obviously that didn't work and they were alive and I was confused. Uh... Just because I didn't realize there was blocks, so that's pretty much most of my issues. I think you need to indicate better. Like, and this wood, what about this wood pillar? It's like, I don't even know. Okay, you can't, but, alright. You know, I just... Okay, but this one, maybe you can? At, at certain parts, like... Make it more obvious that there's like a prop inside this, you know? Like, there's some gaps here, but there need to be like more gaps, you know? Or like... I guess it's just wood because of the potential bad angles. My response to that is like... Uh, I don't know, I just I don't care, dude. About any kind of weird angle this could make, and it's just really awful. Um, why would it be covered up in wood? I don't know. Maybe make it so you can go inside this elevator. That could be interesting. It would probably have no adverse effects. I mean, if it does, then you can just blame me and never listen to my feedback again, but that could be kind of neat. It's an interesting idea, but I can't really see any use for it. Uh, there would be a use for it. Is this being a death drop? Well, I mean, if you know that no one should be coming from this direction, then it's a good spot, like, if you want to... It's like a place to teach, you have to clear out, you know? Maybe slow them down when they're taking the site so that, um, CTs have more time. You know, like, just slow down the T some, like, even if you can't fully fix the timings, make it so that when you take the site, like, it's not just like a, you burst in, you kill everyone, and it's like, I have the site now. Make it so that they have to work for it. I think that's something an overpass would be. And like uh, Inferno B does really well because even though like the timings, are, like, um, they're not as like drastically different as here. But like on Inferno B, like you, there's like all these spots you have to check, like, banana and construction, and then like there's like three or four spots on B side itself. And here it's kind of like it's very easy to quickly clear everything out from T side. So maybe take that into consideration. Like the hiding spot CTs do have kind of become like useless as soon as, as um, like this area, like they lose control of this area uh, in the site. Because there's not a lot of visibility here and it's like, oh no, I'm gonna get flanked. What do I check? What do I check? And I found that very distressing. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, thank you for listening to my feedback. I hope it was helpful. If it All right, thank just you. DM me and tell me I suck. Or do it in public. Uh, yeah, I, I can do that. I would okay. like to bring up something about the uh, boost you mentioned. That's I been could... there since the oh. last version you tested. I didn't test the last version. No. Oh. So well, it's been there and no one used it. So. Well, someone used it now. Test All right. Change. Thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Okay, yeah, Common Crown wants to go next. So, I'll start off with mid, I'm sure you spectating me. Yeah, I, found... yeah. I was stuck. I found mid pretty T-sided. I feel like T's get disconnected too easily in a way. 
I can just smoke stuff off, smoke this, these two things off, get the character. I feel like you need to make it a little more difficult for T's to get this connector. I think the cover is fine, but it's not good for defending this push. So I think middle, middle is only useful for defending that in my opinion. I feel like t the timings might be an issue. I'm not sure. It's definitely an issue for B. I feel like you kind you need you need CTs, the last CT to be able to get here. Safely. Otherwise, it's just too hard for CTs to defend from site. There's not enough cover, and that's fine. And that it will be fixed if you just fix the timings. Uh, problem with A. A feels a little complicated because of the cover in a way. Actually, no, it's fine. Yeah, that's all right. All right. Thanks, uh, guys. Just keep you back next. Okay. Uh, okay, box try set up first. We can go. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm spectating. I think here. for the most part, uh, the map's not changing that much. I think that's probably because it's, it's pretty good. Uh, I'll go back to the wall banking. I think you should just keep it as a general rule if that the surface is wood, people should like they're expecting to be able to wall bang it. Yeah, this here was of course a problem, but I don't know. Yeah, was, uh, yeah, it was much worse than I like, I think this wall here annoyed me the most because I cannot wall bang here. Okay, I can with an or but I cannot with a but I can walk in this part with it. I think it might be something to do with this. But like weird stuff like that's just inconsistent. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll go back to B. I feel like B is like fine ish. But yeah, the time is still a problem here. I especially find it a problem because if you want to contest the choke points, this is really the only spot you can actually contest as a CT without smoking. And the T's get this angle before the CT's does. Uh, so you smoke, which uh, sometimes is a little hard. I feel like it's much better than it was in earlier versions. Still a little bit hard. Uh, and yeah, then you can sort of push out like up here and stuff. That feels great. But if you want to hold this lower, it's not really many spots that you can hold it from there where you don't just get absolutely bodied by somebody peeking out here. So I think that might just help it by delaying T's a second, maybe even two. And um, it needed it in the earlier version, it still needs it. Uh, yeah. But otherwise. I found that the site was pretty great. I felt like the way you got up here was extremely awkward. It didn't really add to anything that you could get up here. And it made a bunch of bad angles. Like, uh, let's say somebody smoked this. I mean, yeah, you can see this, but you can also see over here, things like that. And yeah, you can see the draw if you jump on top of it, which I think you can do. Yeah, just bad angles. I would like this to be bigger because I was playing passive one round. Uh, I kind of came over here and somebody was down in the water, but I didn't really see them. I think the teammates were warning me, but I couldn't hear them. I don't know. And I was like, oh, they're shooting me. I don't quite see where they are. I just fall back and I just got shot. And I actually retreated for like a moment second. Just because I got shot, I got slowed down and then. I really easy. But that might just be because playing around it or something. Might be fine. I feel like C is more proper cover than from the back of the site. So you don't have to do the inside push. I feel like mid play is pretty good, in my opinion. But CT had kinda had to play it aggressive. Uh, or like give up some control of it, but I like how that play 
he's actually good with all of this. A site. I also look kind of like, but uh, yeah, just a lot of inconsistencies with all the materials everywhere, and it makes the whole thing confusing. Uh, but yeah, I really like how this bang wall was once bangable now, because it meant that boosting this was kind of risky. Damn it. And I enjoy how this angle was a thing. I mean, it's CT, it just means that when you smoke this, you hold this angle. Right. Uh, so I felt that like fine and it wasn't overwhelming as a CT. But what I really didn't like was coming here to CT, like, okay, I'm gonna jump up there, I'm gonna peek and see if somebody is. I can catch something I've got and I'll. Eh, and I would kind of slide, so I'd actually stay up there longer than I would if I just jump. And I'll do this quite a lot, actually. So I imagine if somebody was standing here, seeing here, it would not just be my head popping up, but it would actually be, yeah, like me sliding awkwardly and being completely inaccurate. So I don't know if like a little snow heap here or something to make the jump more consistent. It's kind of really annoying. Just, yeah, that's good work. Uh, yeah, just something simple like that. I like the room. Room. Uh, yeah, CT spawns. B was so dependent on CTs getting good timing there that it meant that whoever spawned over here had to play B. Really didn't find that enjoyable because it meant that people had to play different spots every single round. It might just be fixed with CT timing, but I'd rather have you like, put all the CT spawns together. Uh, but yeah. I think the map is coming out long pretty great. So yeah. Alright, thank you. Alright. Uh, oh, let's... one more thing, one more thing. This pop here can suck a peanut. Right. Uh, first of all, going up here, peeking this, it's annoying that there's just stuff in the way for if somebody could be there. But also, I tried pushing this once. I like, oh, okay, I'm gonna, gonna play this close and then. This is kind of an awkward angle. Try to and it's kind of way in the way it can kind of crouch on. It was just an awkward crouch place in an awkward spot. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, that was what I had. Ah. All right. I assume that's everything. Yeah. Uh, okay, Sumo, you wanted to say something? Huh? Did, did, did you want oh. to say something? Um, yeah, I haven't been paying attention at all as to what's already been said, so I might repeat some stuff. But I'm not sorry. You're not pretty quiet. I apologize. You might have to turn me up. Uh, I'll talk about B site first, because I feel like it has the most issues of the two sites. Um, I think I remember hearing someone say something about this spot and how it's not good. I disagree, I like this spot a lot. Either stick with this, um, or just pull this out, so that, and make this area not bangable, so that people can hide under here and be safe. To give an angle like that, but for up here. Uh, and that's the thing I noticed about B, is that you're mostly fighting there or there, which is, is like obvious, but you're not fighting from the site. You basically have to push up if you want to contest it up which is very hard because the, uh, the spawns and the timings and uh, there's not really an easy way or an intuitive way to smoke off B main. Like you can come over here, blocked, so you have to come out here, and it's a lot of time. I think for the future, I put this in the chat. You can smoke it off by banking here, so if y'all can work out a way to make a lineup, that would be muy beneficial. I th think this is a bit too deep. I think maybe you can bring this out a bit more because I got cheesed by this fucking angle. Right now. Um, I, it might be fine. I wish there was a way to get on top of the pipe easily. So maybe you remove this angle instead. Go up there. Uh, there is a way onto the pipe, but it's not easy. 
Oh, wait, what? Uh, okay, I'll give you that, motherfucker. <laughs> uh, I had one more thing about B. I feel like this corner isn't deep enough. Like, you're clearly safe, but it's bangable. There's no real solid, safe, safe spot on, like, around the site. Or on the site, sorry. There's stuff, you know, around the up there. Up there. Up there, down there. Uh, back here. But you can't really see anything, because they can still plant there, and you can't deny it without a molly. So I would like to see maybe this corner push a little maybe and uh, I would also like uh, an, in uh, an intended uh, self boost up to this because the only one I found involves pixel walks and oh, yeah that wow. wasn't intended yeah uh, speaking of something we can get up here oh no <laughs> I'm not I'm not gonna go into it uh, I think that's all I got about B. I agree with this elevator idea though, maybe. Uh, it could work. Or you just push it back and make this a deeper corner. That's safe. Either works, I think. Uh, I think that's, I'm done with B. I have nothing to complain about in mid. I don't think. I liked this. I liked how... Oh, wait, I don't like that. Maybe pulling this building out a bit to block this long sight line to prevent people from just shooting people that jump up. I don't like that. I don't like it. It's my thing. It's just me thing. I don't like it. Uh, for some reason you can't hop on the, uh, the bench top, which I feel like would be a good angle, but here. Okay. I didn't really want people to go on no, the I top mean, of the bench. I'm sure it's fine. It's just it's I feel like it's weird. It's, turn the corner. Their legs might be in the bench. I just don't get that. But I'm sure it's just fine. Uh, nothing here. Oh yeah. Do I have anything else mid? Okay, no, I don't. Yeah. A site is, it's good, but I wish there was an easy way to smoke off up here, because uh, you might have seen me just fucking around throwing smokes, and, and uh, there's really no, you can only smoke the site, but there's probably always going to be a guy heaven or deep, and uh, you can maybe throw a smoke to cross. But uh, for Squeaky, that's just not going to cut it, so I wish maybe there was a bit of an opening here as well, so you can maybe... There is a smoke to smoke off the back room and Squeaky from mid. But this is the back room? Or this uh, is the back room? That's the back room. Yeah, I, I can get uh, smokes to somewhat land a block of this and that, but I'm just looking for... A way to smoke heaven from back here, maybe, because you could easily do it. And just, like, boom, boom. Maybe just like, uh, I agree with this. Make it or just make half of it bangable, half of it not. I think that would work as well. Protect people over here, or just make it the other way so that you can't shoot through here, all the way into fucking there, but you can shoot into this little corner. Uh, might be it. Give it one more look. Oh. This. Uh, I don't see, I, there's such an easy jump spot here, and I don't know if it's intended. You could boost up and do a thing like overpass, you know, have a guy stand up there, like, and you can look right into main. That could be a very big issue, but I kind of like the idea of it. So if anyone gives feedback about it, tell them to frick off, because I actually like it a lot. And, uh... 
Yeah, the spawns here. Not good. Needs to clump them up. Or just move the spawns this way. I'm probably just gonna chuck a majority of the spawns at B. Near B. Alright, that works. As long as... Uh, it doesn't fuck up the timings on A, because the timings on B were kind of atrocious. Because I died in the piss round because I didn't know the timings and didn't think they could get there that fast. Alright, that's all I, that's all I got. Alright. Who wants to give feedback next? Uh, can I go? Yeah, go ahead, Flashfire. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um. Uh, I guess I'll start off with, like, A. Um. Like in general, the map plays good still, um, but there is some stuff I kind of think a little bit different to last time. Uh, a site, um, I kind of, kind of, okay, in general in the map, I feel like the CTs might kind of, be, it should have like an extra second or an extra half a second uh, in most places. And it kind of like, on A, it kind of ties into mid a bit, right? So, um, the timings for A seem to be like, you know, the meeting points are quite close about here. Which is okay, like, you know, it, it kind of negates uh, any, like, long-range orc fights here, which I think is alright. I think that that would really suck um, if a CT was able to, like, peek all the way down here. So that's okay, I guess. Um, but in mid, um, it's kind of related to A, but, like, it feels like CTs don't really get control of this that easily. Because, like, if you're a CT and you come in from A, like, basically... Because the timings are quite close to the T entrance, right? By the time you get here, uh, like, I, how can I, I can't really explain this. Basically, it's CTs. If they're coming, if they're at the A player, they have to go up here so far to get like an angle into mid. That you know, if that makes sense. I'm really not explaining this very well, but um, oh, I, I don't know. I can't, I can't word this well. Basically, I think CT should get better control over this. And they, don't, and they shouldn't have to go, like, uh, you know, all the way out here and then all the way back through here. Uh, it just feels like so long for CTs to get control of this connector so they can help out in the mid. So, like, I think you should, like, shift this further back or something just so that CTs, um, you know, can take control of it better. Because mid was really T-sided. I guess there's multiple reasons why you could say. You could say that it's because um, that's bangable by rifles. And it was really easy for to see like molly CTs like this, and then they kind of had their, they, you know, they have to push up closer for cover. So like, you know, you could just do something to buff this area for CTs, and it might, it might fix it all. Um, but the, the thing about mid, I think, or well, certainly what I noticed is, I think the thing with mid is you just never had any CTs properly playing here. Or even in this connector, to be honest, I feel like there was n the only time CTs were mid was when they were back here. It felt, it felt like every round the T's would just molly off like this, or you know, or smoke it off or whatever. And then it feels like once they've done this, there's basically no guarantee to be no CTs in here close. There's basically guaranteed to be no CTs in here either. So they kind of get all of this for free once they take mid because it's so easy to take mid as T. Um, so yeah, I don't know what you want to do about that, but. I think like shifting the connectors just you know so that CTs have better control over them. Maybe you can even make it so that CTs coming down mid like this are able to get into here a little bit safer. Like um by moving this further away from the T entrance, that might that might be good too. Uh I don't really know. But yeah, mid was just T sided in general. Um I mean it wasn't terrible, but you know. Um Yeah. And that's kind of what I meant about the A timings, uh, you've got to go quite far to get into here, to get control of this, and by that point, you know, you've kind of already lost mid and you can't really help out in the initial fight. Um, yeah. Um, uh, I guess B, like, honestly, there wasn't really that many problems, just the timings. Um, and they're not even that bad, they're just a little bit bad. Um, okay, the thing about B is... <laughs> Like honestly, when I uh, when we were on the T side uh, to begin with, it was amazing how how many times in the first few rounds there was some CT going up these stairs like this, and and we were just already peeking him from over here. Like I was just peeking this, and there'd be a CT like walking up the stairs there, going up to there. And, but 
yeah, they just don't have time. Um, I kind of like to see a few, like you know, an, maybe an extra second or two for CGs on this side in particular, mostly. Um, but the other thing was when I was playing B, there's not really a good way to smoke off this area early on um, to, to get a smoke that covers the whole thing, right? Because if I'm coming from here, um, you know, I've got I can go this way and stuff, and I, you know. Uh, it's not really easy to get a smoke that goes into here. I mean, you probably can, but even then, that's not really blocked all of it. Um, so, you know, or what if I'm coming around this way? If I'm coming around this way, there's this little gap here for me to smoke. But at that point, I'm not very good at, you know, I'm not really an expert runner, so I can't really kind of... It's I can't throw a casual smoke into there and block it off, right? And it just hits the crate anyway. So I'd really love for there to be an easier way to smoke or... I mean, molly, but mainly smoke. Just smoke this easier from further back somehow. Okay, so I kind of did a good one there, but, you know, even if, if you're this way, there's basically no way to smoke this off safely. Like, um, to prevent a rush or anything. Right, you might be able to molly close, but, you know, definitely no good way of smoking this off um, at all. So I, I'd really like that. Um, that's kind of a couple of other things. Like, I know the map played T-sided, but there's still just some stuff I kind of didn't like as a terrorist. Um, I think the problem was just because of the lag. So, on the CG side, like, it lagged most in the second half, so we were kind of fucked on the CG side. Um, but yeah, the small kind of little gripe I have is as terrorist, it feels like the CGs were always pushing, just because there wasn't that many places they had to clear. Um, for whatever reason, that there was there was rarely anyone holding this in far back, I don't know why. But like, if you're a CT pushing this and you have a teammate, there's barely any place you have to clear out. This isn't a this isn't like a, a sideways cubby; it's a diagonal one, so you don't have to clear this out. So, if, for example, if you're pushing here, the only place you have to clear out is T's holding close like this. If you have a friend, you know, it's kind of easy to clear it out together. Um, it's like it's in just in general. I feel like I don't really have that many good places to stop rushes as terrorists. Like once again, I can play here, I can play close, but you know, CTs are going to be pre-firing this angle. You know, if there was like something over here, then they'd have to be more careful, right? Because there's a little angle here, and there could be a terrorist there. But you know, just in general, the same kind of goes for the even this connector. If you're coming through here, guess what? The only place there can be a T is like this. So you're kind of, you're ready for every engagement if you're a CT pushing, because you know exactly where they're going to be. You know, it's kind of the same thing here. Pushing A, you know, clear this, and then you just keep going, and you kind of know exactly where, you know, the places that you have to, uh, that, this, that the T's going to be hiding. So you, I feel like you just add more, like, crossfires for T's, um, if they want to prevent rushes and stuff like that. Like, if you look at pretty much any map, like, you know, Mirage or any example, pick, pick a map. You know, there's always kind of like um, more areas they can hold, like from both sides and stuff, to prevent bushes. Um, maybe even just narrowing stuff slightly might even make a difference. Crossfires, you know, just little cubbies and stuff they can just hold hold from with whatever gun. Um, or height variation can help as well. You know, anything really. Because um, I was always getting bullied as terrorist for some reason. Um, I don't know. I so I did just didn't really understand it. We just I just kept getting bullied by rushing t CTs. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of sad. And I think it was oh, I can't remember who it was, but yeah, I think this is kind of a bad cover placement as well. Like, with that. And this is sucked. I, mean, I think Fizzy was hiding here one time. Kind of gay, because I'm not really uh I'm not really expecting that at all. Um, yeah. But like yeah, I've said it kind of a lot, but it doesn't really feel that bad at all. It's you know it's still good. It's still a good map. Um, yes, definitely only got better, I think, so, you know, that's good. Um, yeah, I don't really have, like, nothing I've said is really a big complaint. It's just, you know, fix a few little things here and there, because it's pretty good as it is, so, yeah, that's why. I've... I keep feeling the map actually gets worse with every playtest. Alright. Is it just me left then? Uh, in peak. Peak, so. can I go? Yeah, that's fine, yeah. Alright. Thank you, thank you, peak. Alright. It's your boy, Fizz. What, what, what's up? Uh, 
some of the stuff I was gonna say has already been said, so I'm not gonna harp on it too much, because I think you get the message about the timings and the spawns. But I will offer up an idea for beast site, because... And sorry if I'm lagging everywhere, my internet's bad and the server's dying, so... I'm teleporting everywhere on my screen constantly. Um, but... I would say that I feel like as a CT, whenever I was holding, it felt so awkward on B especially, because if I'm holding on B, at, like, like I, I have an off, you know? B's got some long sight lines, I like offing, and I'm kind of like, okay, where am I going to off? Well, I kind of like this angle, you know, into main, it's got a nice little angle for me, but it's really, like, dampened by the fact that this whole area, the way it dumps out, they swing out and they see me and I'm I'm just dead. I can't do anything. So I'm like, okay, well, let me try going for the same thing from the other side. Well, now I have this cool angle, but if the terrorists have mid, I have to fall off of it immediately because this connector completely invalidates this whole area. So then it's like, okay, well, um, what if I play a bit more aggressive? Well, I can't really off here because the way this cover is placed, if they like hug the wall, they can peek me from the left or the right side, which is just like, okay, so I can't off pretty much anywhere behind this building. Well, site is kind of a mess because as soon as they, like, if I'm offing here, then, you know, I got some good angles. I've even got wooden cover so I can bang them through it, but I'm obviously exposed to here and there is... There's, like, the, the the interesting crossfires you can make on B are really kind of spat upon by the fact that the terrorists just have such good entrances compared to the CTs. Because if you look at the terrorist entrance, I've got this crate here, I've got this whole area to play with. This entire area, it's got some cover in it as well, it's got this cover here, it's got this cover here, this barrel, this cover, this cover, this whole building. When I look at the CT entrance, there's just, there's literally, I shit you not, there's nothing. It's just empty space with a building in front of it. And it's got, you've got this little, little campy corner here too, so it's kind of, it's just, it boggles my mind. Because I'm just sitting here like, it's no wonder that the terrorists had such an easy time. Like, obviously because of the timings and stuff, and because the lag would favor them a little bit. But like, just... Thinking about this fundamentally, if I were shown this map, I would think that these are the CT entrances and these are the T entrances because there's so much more going on back here than there is over here. And the connector, like, where the connector comes out is just, like, the fucking, uh, I don't know how to put it, like, it's the icing on the cake, I guess, where it's just like, oh, this connector is positioned, like, really close to the T's entrance, and so is this one. It's actually... I'm fairly certain that it's very close to the T entrances compared to the CTs, because if the CT, I rotated a lot on this map because the terrorist team did a lot of like fakes. Sometimes they would go A and then they change their minds and go B, or sometimes it'd be like 1v2s, 2v1s, stuff like that. So there was a lot of rotatings, like through rotations through mid that were happening. If I come up through mid as a CT, I'm kind of like. I'm kind of told like, okay, well, I'm coming from A. I want to go to B. I know there's at least two people alive. It's a 1v2. If I go to the left, I get, you know, I get this really big, no cover, dog shit entrance. But on the bright side, I can wrap around the site slowly and I can like check out these angles like one by one. So once you get past the entrance, it's actually like a really good, like this area is really good because you start to like, maneuver into sight. It's really good for retakes. It's probably the only good entrance for retakes when compared to the other two, because you're not exposed to this whole area initially. You are still safe from most of, uh, I guess we'll call that B main. And you can clear out the site slowly and methodically. You can even like wall bang a bit of that. And then once you push out more, you peek main and then you can peek, uh, you know, side hall. I don't know. And like, that's really good, but all the T's are not idiots, so they're just gonna push up and hold this angle, and there's nothing you can do. Or they're gonna hold this angle, or they're gonna hold this angle, or they're gonna hold this, like, this angle. Or they're gonna hold it, like, it's impossible. Like, once you get out the doorway, once you get out to the site, it feels pretty good. But once you, like, y you can't get through this doorway. That was the main problem I felt as, like, a retaking CT, 
is that I just kept getting bottlenecked by this room, and eventually I was like, okay, fuck it, I'm not going CT anymore, I'm gonna rotate through this connector. Well, this also has its problems, because a terrorist is gonna be camping in so many of these weird, obscure corners. You have, of course, this really long angle that, like, you have to combat if you're rotating through <laughs> a site, because you, you can't avoid this. This is unavoidable. So, in a worst case scenario, the terrorists get a the terrorists get B site. They can just run into connector and hold this angle. They know that you're gonna come through the doorway if it's closed because it makes a noise, a huge noise, and they have plenty of time once they hear that sound cue to just move to the other side and hold this angle. That maybe not with an op, but with an A or something, and this this area is locked down. So I, well, hypothetically, again, I get through the whole connector. It's a 1v1 or something. Once I get to the doorway, it's kind of all right. You know, I, it's kind of okay. This corner's a little cheeky, because I also have to deal with this and this. But, like, it's it's all right. In a 2v2, when there's, like, another guy coming through here, you can, you can kind of, like, clear out most of these angles really quickly, and then you work your way to sight, because this pillar, like, blocks vision from the... The hallway back here right i'm just gonna call it the side hall in this main but um like so you've blocked vision from the side hall so you can like retake properly and you can work your way up you can check the angles and it's it's nice it actually kind of it functions again but then it's all like shat upon again by like this spot and i kind of i'm not gonna lie i like this spot i like verticality but i really think it'd be cool if you like made this not a thing, because this only favors the terrorists who, as we've established, already have enough shit going on that they don't, like, like this angle. I'd say this angle, I I'm fine. This angle, like, into, ma into main, that's totally fine. CTs, that's, like, a high-risk, high-reward spot, because it's, like, really wall-bangable. Maybe not with Glock. But it's really well bangable with an AK because I got sprayed through it a bunch of times and I got lit to shit. It's got like nice height variation. It's kind of difficult. I wish it was more like indicated that you could actually like jump up here. But um, th like the terrorists, they don't need this this angle <laughs> into the <laughs> into connector because that's just like completely invalidates everything that I was talking about, where you can clear the angles really easily. So I would just say for this, switch the metal plating metal metal sheet just put it over here and then make this taller so you can't actually see over it and then maybe like have it jut out a bit so that if you're standing on like the edge you still can't see the connector and and then like i feel like this site is becoming something like really solid again because it it it's it's purely it's purely the fact that like it's the timings on B site. It's the the entrances the CTs have and their options compared to the campiness the terrorists get. Because it feels like everything was made to give the terrorists the best chance to win this site possible. So then, you know, as a CT, I'm gonna. I'm sorry if I'm droning on and on, but I'm just like processing this as I go. <laughs> but like, as a CT, if I get to mid and I get past this connector, every CT, I shit you not, after like round five on each side. Every CT just said, fuck it. They ran past mid and they went into this connector doorway and they just used the T's OP entrances against them. So as a, it set up this really weird situation where the T's would constantly plant like right here or in the middle of site or something and then go to the CT doorways to hold the site from the, the CT's who were retaking from T spawn. <laughs> that I don't think I've ever like experienced a map that kind of functions like that other than maybe trains b site but the way with trains b site is that you still have cts retaking from their own doorways if that makes sense so it just set up this really weird dynamic that i think needs to be addressed going forward and i would suggest that with this doorway i don't really like this connector doorway i don't really think it's personally i don't think it's that necessary if that makes sense because it's it only saves like a couple of seconds and all it does is incentivize CTs like once they push up like once CTs push up mid now the terrorists have to watch they have to watch for if CTs push into the connector and if they push into this connector area well shit they they just got this whole section of the map and like um the person previously explained it's very very difficult 
because the terrorists have no cover here and it's very easy to clear. So it's it sets up this really weird dynamic on B site. Um, I'm like, I'll, I'll say it like very bluntly. I like this site. I actually really like the design and shit. But I think it's the cover for the CTs and the all around and this little area and the timings that really just kind of break it. And that's why I think it's kind of been failing in recent versions. Not not to say it's bad, because the design is really good. It's really fun when it works. It's just that like the design past the site needs to change. And that you'd have to work that out because I don't really have any suggestions for back here other than making it have more like making the terrorists have this like sewage pit area that gives them a lot of space to maneuver. I feel like you could open up an area back here or something and then have the CT entrance, like, when it comes out, there's not a corner or a cubby here. They can just run past it and check it immediately. But it gives them a lot of space, because if you open up that space, then suddenly an offer watching this angle is feasible. And maybe if you had a crate or some kind of... Well, actually, no, you don't even need a sightline blocker, because they have there's already one here. So it's like... I feel like that could do something to, like, rejuvenate something to the map, but I don't know. Um, I thought mid was all right. Um, I don't really have much to say about it other than I really don't like how you can't rotate without being seen from mid because terrorists are gonna get mid. They are going to get mid. It is pretty much inevitable unless all five CTs stack mid, nade rush it, like fucking shit hits the fan and they somehow come out on top, which I think happened one round out of 30 or however many we played. So... If the terrorists get mid, I definitely don't feel like they should be rewarded with a, a gap that's bigger than the crossing on Dust 2 doors as their fucking, like, cherry on the cake. Because now, oh, they got mid. They can flank B site and A site through that. I I think that's really dumb. I would just add, like, a, like just make this narrower. Add a crate here. Just something to block the sight line to the connector, and then I'm fine with it because I really don't care. But other than that, like mid was all right. But A site was interesting because A site had this weird kind of dynamic where, kind of like B, but to a lesser degree, the CTs would play on site for like the first few rounds. And then all of a sudden, we realized hey, wait a minute. It's way better if we just kind of don't play on site, even though there's all this cover here that's really like incentivizing. As soon as a terrorist, like, you'll realize that most of these aren't actually that good of cover. Because this this cubby back here can be seen from a connector. Okay, well, this cubby back here gets cleared by sight, and they can peek you from two different angles, and it's wall bangable. This spot on sight is you're jiggling between two different angles, and they're, they're not, like, anywhere near close together. So, like, as soon as a terrorist makes it out of the squeaky, you're, you're dead. Um, if you try to push up, there's two... The angle keeps going and going. There's this little cubby here. Like, so it's not really, ins you don't really want to push up. So what most CTs did is they just smoked this off. And then once they smoked this off, maybe one of them pushed up through here. Maybe one of them like Stewie 2 k through the smoke. And, you know, sometimes that worked. But the problem is, is that Terra's main entrance was kind of through the doors. Because the doors give you a much better entrance into site because you're hidden from upper for a lot longer like i can clear out i can clear out nearly every single intimidating angle for the other entrance from this one without even peeking upper and that is insane and then any entrances i can't see i can really easily like molotov and smoke off well you know i'm not absolutely dog shit at my my needs but I can like Molotov and smoke off, I can Molotov this area, and then I can just smoke off this angle. And now I pretty much have this area of the site and the smoke doubles as cover. So now I can plant right here and it's planted for the squeaky, the area my entire team just came from. And then once you get out to site, then because of the staircase, the terrorists get upper. And once again, we have this weird dynamic where the, the terrorists are guarding the CT entrances and the, the CTs are going through the terrorist entrances to retake the site because their own entrances have just been compromised. It's it it's 
it's the weirdest dynamic, and I've never like really seen it pan out to this degree in a in a map. And I think it's because mid has too many. Mid is too viable for CTs to rotate through, but that's just saying that like their own entrances are so shit that it's like 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 once again holding up here is really cool. Holding up here, awesome. I I agree that it should be smokable, but um you can probably just like reduce the size because it doesn't necessarily need to be this big big well it's easily smokable but like the problem is is like if i get smoked here i can just walk around it if that makes sense i don't know but it's, it's not bad it's not bad but um like the site plays pretty all right when you're retaking it the angles the angles like from here coming into sight actually feel kind of kind of good like most of the sight lines are kind of like they're really fun, but there's a lot of this like left, right. Uh, you gotta check all the way behind this if you're coming through this doorway. So not only do you have to check, not only do you have to check to your left and your right at the same time, pretty much. You also have to come around this wall to check if someone's behind it, and then as you're doing that, you have to like, like you have to go left, right, right, left. Make sure while this is happening, no one like peeks you. This angle, like, this angle here is really rough. I feel like you can just section this wall off so that there's not a cubby here. Because they don't need a cubby, because if they just step further back in the hallway, they're already hidden. And this cubby just makes it impossible to check squeaky, because there's so much cover in here. That is only going to be used by terrorists, because why would I use this to cover squeaky as a CT when the terrorists are going to shoot me as I'm falling back from it? So unless you moved this closer to here, so CTs can play behind it and then also fall back, it's kind of pointless. Um, but like once you get out to sight, the angles feel the angles feel fine. The angles for sight feel really good. There's just a couple of these like really deep checks, but like angles feel really good. The entrances are all right. They're functional. But once the sight gets taken, is when the map breaks, and I I can't stress that enough. <laughs> Because it's 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 frustrating having to play the map and then completely invert your expectations. That's why so many people were surprised by like angles where people were killing them from. Because everyone, whether they realized it consciously or not, just realized that the CTs can't retake from their own entrances. They have to go to the terrorist entrances because the terrorist entrances are so hard for terrorists to hold, yet so easy for them to defend from once they have the site. That's why that's why B site, once the timings are fixed via the terrorist planting on site, they had such an easy time holding the site. Because the angles work, just not with the timings currently given. And I think I that's the fucking way. Yeah, I think that's all I have to say. I mean I had fun. <laughs> I had a lot of fun. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but I Completely think that's all I have to say. Them up. I had fun. But I, I would just give I just give criticism. <laughs> You sh you, sh you fucking ranted so long, the time's almost done. I was just gonna say that. Oh, did I? <laughs> well, when did I start? No. <laughs> it was like... It wasn't, it wasn't oh. only you, but uh... It was, it was like, like 30 minutes. Anyway, no, no, no. it was not 30 Two, minutes. 20 yeah. minutes. Yeah. All right, anyway. my feedback helps. Anyway, uh, Peak, uh, you got feedback, I presume? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, go ahead. Go All ahead. Right. So, Peak in-game, as you know. I want to talk about how mid's effect on the rest of the map probably makes it so I didn't like playing a CT. I feel like mid makes it a lot worse for playing as a CT just because taking mid as T as it's so easy, I feel, I feel like it's so easy anyway. CTs are basically cut off from everywhere but the site they're holding as soon as they lose mid because T's get control of this they then they, so they basically have control of everywhere along here because CT's cannot really hold the doors from anywhere uh just one sec actually sorry uh yeah and uh then it's like if you're holding B it's like they can come from behind you two ways, and you can't tell where they're going to come from, apart from using the timings. But then they can just be trying to play it off, and it's just like, eh. If... 
I feel like there should be an easier way for CTs to be able to know whether they're gonna get flanked because on site or if they're on a site they either have to run all the way up here and see to here to know whether they're getting flanked from two different entrances if they don't get there in time they're getting flanked from a different entrance and they still have two other entrances to worry about as well as that so if because they don't have a quick timing for really anything from the site to watch their CT entrance it's yeah it is going to be like two hours long to be honest uh, if, if they had an easier Thank way you. to watch to this entrance like quicker maybe not easier but like here just it's not it's no easy way to watch this angle from anywhere really because if you're watching it from back there you can't see people going up here so it's just like there so that's why mid's bad for a for cts and then mid like obviously the timings are here are whack anyway so you can't even get to like here without being especially when the timing of the ct spawns are bad but i'm assuming that'll be fixed but you should be able to get to at least here without being seen by T's from that entrance. I don't really know how you're going to fix that to be honest because it's going to have to require some way of doing it that this timing is the same maybe? I don't know. Maybe this could be a bit slower for T's but I don't know how you're going to fix it to be honest. But then as soon as I lose mid, I tried to rush here as CT a few times. It was fine rushing here but if I didn't rush it would have been horrible because it's just T's have to just hold that it's probably not going to hide there then holding this CT's are really holding this from back there and that's just not a it's easy corner to check because it's just like oh yeah he's definitely not hiding there without actually peeking because you'll see him first and then it's easy to just push in through this here but then pushing from back here Jesus I'm it's just like, yeah, what Fizzy said is just horrible pushing from here. So as soon as T CTs lose mid, it's just really game over for retakes or just you have nowhere safe because you can't watch your flank from anywhere from either site. Because there's no quick way of watching this flank apart from if you want to keep on watching here so it's not like you can rotate quickly from watching here or here but yeah there's not really a good angle to hold it apart from here but then this angle is just like eh. this is probably the only good AWP angle you can hold the entrance from there's one angle to hold that entrance isn't great because it's just like you can't watch it from the connector you can only really watch it from here if you want to watch with an AWP or it's up here where you can where the timings aren't great enough to be able to get here first so if they lose mid it's just it's just not nice for cts at all because they can get flanked someone could be on any of their routes before they are if they lose mid because the timings are nice for t's because you can be here having in this corner as t if they're on site so it's just like maybe make mid much easier for cts to hold or like people said make the, end, the connectors more CT sided or con be able to be controlled by CTs. I think both sites were fine really. I didn't really see many problems with them. I think one time I did, I was up here and, oh my god, lag. But uh, I was up here and there was a smoke somewhere there like in the lands area and I got shot through it. I, I don't even know, I didn't see the guy. It couldn't have been really a one-way smoke because it was over the top of the smoke that I got shot. But I just couldn't see it. It's just I don't know. I really don't know how. It's just this feels weird to me. I also didn't realize this is about it. It's just. I, I really don't know how to explain how I feel about that boost. I'm not even close. Just to jump. Because I didn't even realise you could see into this properly. Because I'm guessing the timings would have been fine for T's to jump up and push here, but I never really got it. Uh, 
I also agree that there's literally no way for T's to hold rushes on either side well, just because their corners aren't great for any rush. Because it's not like the angles aren't deep enough for T's to have the angle advantage, if you get what I mean. Because, like, if you're holding an angle, if you're further away, you have the advantage. I don't really care about pig's advantage, screw that. But, just, if you're holding the angle from further away, you have the advantage properly. But there's no real place, apart from holding all the way back here, that you really have a good chance. And then it's just holding out in the open, because there's not a place to hold a, hold a rush well to say anything, because it's not like, there's no crouch behind this cover and be able to spray, so it's not, it's not easy to punish CT rushes, which I, I, it just feels weird whenever I went for this playtest. I felt it was fine last playtest for stuff like this, but I don't know what, I can't even remember what's changed to be honest. Oh, this, this here, I, just, I can't remember whether this is what Fizzy was saying, but make it so you can't see through here from up here, but make me make this all the way across so you can't just so it's not just spray through there and just easily kill someone you actually have to like kind of know where they are instead of just spraying through one spot and probably hearing you hit them and yeah there's not really many nice spots to hold B from to be honest there's not really many like what is the angle to really hold this choke from that is nice for CTs? It's kind of just like fighting against this angle when you can just be like, it's just not, it doesn't feel nice. I don't, I, yeah, I feel like if you make mid CT sided a lot more and then fix the timings for B, it'll be like, a much much better but I can't really tell what else to say just because that's how I feel about the rest of the if that changes it will probably feel like a lot different to me but I think I think I'll end it there to be honest okay thank you all uh, right well what about the detailing on a uh, detailing a detailing uh I think it's alright, it's kind of generic though, it's not really, nothing really pops out as like, it's not really a set piece to the site really, it's kind of just wooden concrete pillars everywhere and that's it. It's not really anything that shows me anything, it's just, yeah, it's bricks, wood, concrete, no, like, nothing else to really I don't know, yeah. Nothing stands out to me as I push the site. It's kind of just like, oh yeah, it looks like a construction site, like quite a lot of the other maps, like Overpass. It's just like, yeah, Overpass is recognisable because it's a, it's a known map. I, it's, I wouldn't say Overpass B looks that great to be honest, but it has something you recognise because like. I call it graffitis and stuff, that makes the site pop. This kind this site doesn't really have that at all. It's just this. I don't really no This area's fine, I guess. It's just the repetition of this everywhere isn't really great. It's just wood surfaces everywhere up this hallway. Until it's bricks and Plaster surfaces. It's just boring to me. I don't really. Nothing pops. I think that's all I can say, really. I'm trying to scrub them up. No, 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 no. No. Alright. Uh, I'll get feedback now. I really don't have very much. I don't know why I didn't just go in and leave, but uh, glad I sat here for over an hour. <laughs> okay. Um,. <laughs> So for layout, um, I still hold the opinion that it's basically fine and doesn't need any changes. Um, 
like just the core layout. Um, timing to be a little fast for Terrace, but that's an easy fix. Um, yeah, that's really all my feedback to the layout. I think it's fine. Doesn't really need any changes. I agree that I think you've got too much plywood all around. I think that kind of goes into the detailing a little bit, which I'm gonna, which I'm gonna talk about. Um, but yeah, basically one of the issues is you have plywood basically everywhere. So everywhere is a wall bing, which I guess isn't necessarily an issue. Um, it's just something to note that you have wall banks everywhere. Some will probably be unintentional, but uh, that's just how the map is. Part part of that's because of detailing. Um, part of it's, you know. Yeah, I mean, it could be a choice too, because, you know, some maps like Jing Shen or Avi, they have wall banks, and that's, you know, part of the core gameplay. You're supposed to use them. Um, with this map, it doesn't feel like they're part of the gameplay. They're kind of just all spread out in random places, really. Um, so maybe if it was more well placed and not everywhere, it'd be a little bit. What do you mean? Abby's good. Shut up. I love Abby. Um, anyway. Oh, you mean Jing Shen's bad? I haven't played it. I don't know. Anyway. Um, yeah, that's pretty much my feedback on the layout. I still think it's good. Same as last time, basically. Uh, all right, then detailing feedback. Um, similar to what I said earlier. Um, it's it just looks like train. Basically, you got bricks and plywood and concrete everywhere, as Peek said. Um, so, it does look fine, I agree, but if you really want it to look good, you need to make some custom stuff. So, like, make a few custom brick textures and, you know, put them in places. Um, a few custom concrete textures, put them in places. Some custom plywood textures, maybe. You know what I'm saying, just a lot of that. Um, and then, so... Um, I actually do really like the souvenir shop. This reminds me of what they did in Brigov. Um, it's really cool. I, I like that. Uh, you said custom textures. I don't really know how to make the mini. That's fine. I'm just saying, if you want it to look more than fine, you'll have to learn how to make custom textures. Learn substance designer. Yeah, so... That's really... The only advice I can give you is if you want it to look more than fine, you have to learn how to make custom stuff. Because without doing that, it'll just look like a uh, mis mix. Fuck. It'll look like a mashup of just a bunch of other maps, which is pretty much what it looks like now. Um, looks like Train mixed with Overpass, mixed with Vostok, basically, which is pretty much what it is. Um, but that's just the vibe it gives me. Also, please recompile this broom as a static prop instead of making it a dynamic prop. Thank you. Um, I can tell it's a dynamic prop because the lighting on it is shit. <laughs> uh, it's because it's colored different. Really? Yeah, I forgot to change the color back to white. It's ah uh, okay. All right. Well, yeah, the color looks awful, so please fix that. It's very distracting for me. Um, and then um, this is some advice that Vaya gave me a while ago, and I think it applies to this map. Um, I think Peek said this too. You don't really have any big set pieces. So B is better in this regard because it's like a radio tower and like, you know, a pipe that you're trying to blow up. Like, you know, that makes sense. Um, it would be nice if you could replace some of these plywood things with like actual uh, things that make sense for the theme and, you know, make it more like a radio tower, you know, like a generator maybe and um, utility panel, electric box, a lot of stuff like that. Um, you know, like it sounded like Zay or what the heck. All right. Anyway. Um, well, yeah, so I think the he said a voice line and it sounded like it sounded like you. Okay. What the what the fuck? All right. Anyway. Fake. Um, oh, Vic <laughs> um, I think B is better, as I said, because you got this pipe, which you know it makes more sense thematically. I think you should just go more all out with uh, the theme here, and instead of all these plywood things everywhere, actually make it more like a radio transmission place. And, like, yeah, exactly. Um, and then mid is okay. It's like a little town. It would be nice if you made some like signs um, to more like, you know, immerse. I know it's not done because, you know, this is still gray box and stuff. But like, um, you know, custom signs and like some custom textures are going to make this go a long way um, in mid. I think that this is better because it's like a square with a statue, but still needs some work. Um, as for A, um, similar story here. It just looks like train and overpass and whatever. And there's no set piece on A. It's just plywood and a pillar. Well, um, I, I guess the set piece would be the tanker cars, but that's not really obvious, is it? Yeah. Um, 
I'm not sure how you would go about that. You could make this more like a actual train station. Um, so, you know, like, you know, replace this with like an info board of like times of departure or something and like, you know, add some custom model, like a custom model here or maybe here as like a big, um, a big hero prop would help you a lot. Um, I'm not sure what to do here. I think there's a lot of stuff you could do, but um, having all the hero stuff be plywood and stuff like this, it just, it just makes it feel a little bit boring and like, okay, not like amazing in any way. Um, and oh, then I just a lot of that... I go just for the map to look fine, you know? Yeah, 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 I get that. I'm, I'm just saying, I assume, I don't know, I guess I don't know, but if you want it to look really good and like, um, seem really cool thematically, you will need to make custom things. Um, and, uh, what uh, would you suggest you have... I add to be to make What would I suggest? Better? Yeah. Okay, um, so what's the theme here? Like, a abandoned train station? Uh, yeah, Which I guess. Train station, yeah, something like that. All right. Basically so I would try to go... It's hard. I would probably try to go all out on the theme here. And... As I said, I would pr this is the perfect shape for like a board of departures. You could make it like an electronic board that's deactivated like or something. On, uh, uh, broken Assault? Uh, does that have a departure board? I don't uh, think it does. Uh, it has no, no, no. Oh, those are the ad boards. Um, um, no, I would make it like, um, there's a prop. I think it's from Assault. It's uh, like I'm pretty departure. sure I have a custom prop from junction That's you might yeah i think board. i think junction has one but um that might be in chinese though anyway um something like that um i think would probably be what i would do here and then hero prop on the site that's a lot harder um what do you well mean first hero off prop? Uh, a hero prop is basically like a big prop that's like the main cover and it's usually really it's usually unique um so like the trains, yeah, iconic. So like the trains on Gongji's B site would basically be hero props because that's the only place they're in, and it's it's a like a thing of the theme, and especially made for that. Yes, thank you. Um, it's, that's the coronavirus checkpoint on A, but um, so yeah, that's the one of the issues with why this site looks boring. Uh, you need hero props and whatever. But another thing is the texture usage. Um. You have recognizable textures, so it looks really boring. But if you use custom textures that are recognizable, you can shift how this looks a lot. It can look a lot more unique just by using I custom mean, textures. If there are kind of custom textures, well, custom blends. Like blends? Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. Uh, um, like, if you looked in the, um, uh, like, in the uh, fucking uh, mid, the plaster brick. No, I was talking about the Oh, that? No, 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 no. In mid uh, connector to. Oh, a, okay. The uh, plaster this? brick, yeah. Yeah, that does look. Yeah, that that does look more unique than you know some of the other texture choices across the map. Um, but uh, it needs to be more widespread if you want it to look really unique. Um, I mean, we kind of use that everywhere. Yeah. Um, I mean, I know I'm at like. You more custom textures across the map, not that one across the map. Um, but yeah, basically you need. I can send you a uh, guide. I'll send that uh, after this. Uh, There's a good guide by Putty or Rick from Agency. I don't know. I'll send it to you. That's all I got. Uh, all right, I'm gonna leave now. I've been here too long. <laughs>